Folks at home, what I once considered to be one of the greatest man caves ever has now turned into a woman cave. Look at this, now that we got a bed in here, the women have taken over. We got robes, we got mini milk refrigerators, we got diaper pails everywhere. There should be lures all around this place. But unfortunately, the women folk have taken over. Face mask, sleeping mask, but don't worry, we got a few tricks up our sleeves. This video, we're gonna be using the MTB Pro Box. Now, some people like to unbox them while they're out on the lake, but preparation is key. Today, we're gonna sit here and go through all of these lures. I'm gonna go ahead and get a game plan going for tomorrow morning. We're hitting the lake first thing in the morning, and my first goal is to catch a fish bigger than this scale. So what do we have, up to 20 inches? Now, we're gonna try to beat that by about mm, seven inches. 27 inch bass tomorrow is going to be the goal. To start off with, a VNM watermelon colored, looks like floating worm, guaranteed to catch a bass. No worries about that. A Yozuri 3DB. These things look really good. If you've never seen them under the water, they have like a built in prism system. I've fished with some of these in the past. Should be able to catch something on that this time of year. They're keying in on shad. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know what this is going to catch, and it's probably not going to be a fish. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Some Lunker Hunt. Looks like Cinco style baits. We got some jig heads. Now we're talking, check this out, a Pro Line Lures. Looks like watermelon jig. That should be perfect. I might add a little crawl trailer on there. And look at here, folks. I've already caught a 10 pounder. Shout out to Mystery Tackle Box. They'll send you lures that catch big bass and baby girls pink is her favorite color add a little yellow flare in there chartreuse flare that makes the babies happy sarah enjoy your lure here daddy's about to head out to the lake and catch some big bass now while i'm getting rigged up i'm going to show you really quick how i'm going to rig this lunker stick i'm going to rig it up on a drop shot rig but wacky style so you insert the worm into here put it halfway down and then you pop one of these little rings out onto the worm so you slide one of these black O-rings out to the end of this and it's hollow on the inside. So you put your soft plastic down in there right to the exact point where you want the O-ring to be. And then you just push it off on the bait and there you go. And you take your drop shot hook and you just go right through and catch that black O-ring. And you fish it just like that. There's a lot of action on a setup like this. Now, right, now I'm going to take this Pro Line 3 8 ounce jig and match it up with a net bait pack of chunk green pumpkin crawl and that ought to get the job done. Alright folks, what started off as a beautiful morning got nasty really quick. I got ran off the lake by a little bit of a thunderstorm, went back home, got the rain suit, and now I'm back at it ready to go. But I don't mind the thunderstorm at all, that low pressure system will make these big mamas hungry. thing run straight up deep water yes sir giant I don't know if it's gonna break the 20 inches but it's gonna get close that thing is fighting like crazy thunderstorms got them biting I think it's gonna break it and the old v and m worm just through yes sir that thing is powerful Check that out. A little finesse worm getting the job done. That's definitely gonna break the 20 inch mark. Let's put her on that scale. All right, got her right up to the tip. Tail goes off. I'd say she's a 22 incher. It's a beauty. MTB, I think we're gonna need a bigger scale for these Bama bass. All right, not even gonna weigh her. Hoping to catch one bigger than her. Man, I enjoyed that. So you guys could probably see I cast right up there off the base of that tree. It's only about five feet deep right here. 
and usually this is a morning feeding spot and I would have never stopped by here if it wouldn't have been for this little storm right here but these fish like to sit out here about 12 feet deep but I thought that this storm may have them up here feeding they chase little shad and bluegills and things like that around that tree So the main thing you want to do with this drop shot rig is just make sure that that weight keeps contact with the bottom and then just sit there and wiggle the tip of the rod. You can see the tip of my rod. Just wiggle it about like that and let that wacky rig do all the work for you. Here, here we go. Little one. Yep, he stole my little lunker stick. Got some school and fish activity out here. I'd like to have a little bit more wind with this crankbait, but we'll take what we can get. Maybe we can get it down there and thump one of these big ones in the head. I just came across a log. I thought that was a bite. Some little stumps down there in about 10 feet. Hoping to pop one of them stumps with a crankbait. And get big mama to bite. There we go, right at the boat, thumped it. I bet you I don't have him hooked good. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, giant. Oh, I definitely don't have her hooked good. Look at this fish right here, and I don't have a net in the boat. Got her on the outside of the mouth, thumped it at the boat, crankbait. Oh gosh, I'll be lucky if I land this fish. I can see just that back hook in her mouth. We'll try to wear her out. No, don't you do it. This is fun right here. <laughs> this is another giant with just one treble. Don't do it, gosh, this fish is big. Yes, sir. Look at the head on that sow right there. Thumped it at the boat. This MTB box is turning out to be the real deal. This is a long, long fish right here spawned out probably a eight pounder when she is full weight but wait and let's look and see how long this one is that was luck right there guys you see how that hook barely caught that outside skin anytime they bite it right at the boat like that you know they don't eat it good look at how long this fish is a good three to four inches longer than that so a 24 inch bass second one over the 20 inch mark i'm gonna go ahead and put her back in the water man that is fun guys go check out mr tackle box a lot of good lures in here as you can see the vnm pork pin got it done to start off and then came through there with the yozuri 3d crankbait I'm gonna try to knock out some fish on the rest of these lures but Man, mystery tackle box getting it done today. And you can see that last crankbait fish came out here in that deeper water that I was telling you about. Some of them have moved up there on the tree, feeding off the smaller fish. Other ones are sitting right out here on this channel. There's a channel that runs right through there. That's about 10 to 12 feet deep and they get down there and sit on the bottom. So the six, seven pounders are biting here, but I'm gonna leave and head to another spot. I wanna catch one on that jig down at the end of the lake. So I'm gonna go to a good ledge, see if we can't get a jig bite going. All right, I'm gonna drop my power poles. Poor man's power poles. There he is, got it at the boat. Oh, there we go. What did I tell you? First cast in here on my deep hole. Feels like a good one too. Yep, solid, solid fish. I was reeling that one in and he popped it. Look at him, he got it deep too. I knew they'd be on this ledge. That's why I left fish biting to come down here with this jig. The way this wind's blowing, it just sets up perfect for it. Come on in here. There we 
go. <laughs> Look at that thumper. This MTB box is perfect for the Alabama bite early summer. Man, look at that. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see if that's another 20 incher. I've already gotten two 20 inchers. Look at that, folks. Three 20 inchers already on this box. That is one thick fish. I have a feeling they're piled in this little hole right here. I'm gonna let her go and get back down there. Got him, big and he got me hung too. Get out of that tree, get out of that tree. Got him up to the surface, there we go. Same spot we started out this morning. We'll start here and most likely end here. Dumped it right on top of that tree there. All right, come on up, jump one last time. Another nice one. This B&M's worm's getting the job done. You guys, y'all probably need to check them out because I don't know what it is about it. It's a smaller worm, but the fish are, the bigger fish are striking this and the smaller fish are striking that lunker stick. But we will take it. It's another healthy one. Here we go. Oh, let it go. You got it again. Probably a little guy. Yep, when they thump it, let it go and then thump it again. It's usually baby. I'm gonna take it though. Don't know what it is about that lunker stick. I finally got one on it, but even though it's bigger than the green one, the small fish eat it. We will take it. Got some bad news, folks. We got a lightning storm popping up right here over me, so I'm about to have to get back off the water, man. It's killing me because they've been crushing it today. But go check out MTB. If you're not subscribed to the monthly box, go ahead and check that link out down in the description. The key to these boxes are it makes you become a more versatile angler. You fish all different types of lures. You got crankbaits, worms, different things like that that will help you become a better fisherman. The only thing MTB needs to do Let's get a slightly bigger scale. Just kidding. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and we'll see you all next time.